let us solve one example on dft find dft of a sequence x of n is equal to 1 divided by 4 over 0 to 2 we can draw graphical representation of the sequence so it is 1 by 4 and sequence start at n equal to 0 let us say it is 1 by 4 at 1 it is again 1 by 4 and at 2 it is again 1 by 4 you can take 1 by 4 equal to 0.25 also you can draw the same sequence as 0.25 1 by 4 is 0 0.25 for calculation this will be easier as compared to 1 by 4 this is also 0 0.25 it is index n and it is 0 to 1 and 2 what is the length of n so we have capital n in the equation so what are the terms in the equation we have dft equation x of k is dft of x of n so it is x of k is equal to summation over n equal to 0 to capital n minus 1 the sequence x of n which is finite in this case x of n e raised to minus j it is 2 pi k n it is 2 pi by n k into n it is read like this so we have this term n so so this is the n so n is equal to 3 samples and what is the length of the summation so it is so small n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 so it will be 0 to 3 minus 1 so the range of n is 0 to 2 how many samples so we have to substitute n is equal to 0 n equal to 1 and n is equal to 2 so what is k so k is also 0 to k also 0 k equal to 1 and k equal to 2 so we have to find three values of k for the given n so let us solve this example so when k is equal to 1 uh, sorry k equal to 0 so we will get x of 0 so what is the value of x of 0 you have to find x of 0 and every time you have to take n equal to 0 n equal to 1 and n equal to 2 so it is x of 0 is equal to if you elaborate this summation so n equal to 0 to so it is 0 to 2 x of n e raised to j 2 pi k n by n okay so it is x of 0 e raised to minus j 2 pi what is the value of k it is 0 and what is the value of n it is also 0 2 pi by 3 so value of n is 3 so here so this value so it is k k equal to 0 and this value is for n equal to 0 and here we have n equal to 0 the second case we have to take the same k value of k equal to 0 so it is sum so it is x of 1 e raised to minus j 2 pi so k is 0 we have k is 0 for whole equation into n what is the value of n so here so here n equal to 1 so it is 1 so 2 pi by capital n is 3 plus 
x of 2 e raised to minus j 2 pi by 3 into k is 0 into n is 2. So, it is 2. So, for n we have written equation for n equal to 0, n equal to 1 and n equal to 3 while the k equal to 0. So, in this way you can use these values to find three values of x of k. So, x of k set will be having three values x of 0, x of 1 and x of 2. So, let us simplify this further. So, x of 0, so e raise to 0, so we know e raise to 0 is 1, so this all e raise to will be 0. So, x of 0, so it is uppercase x, x of 0 is 1, uh, x of 0 into 1 plus x of 1 plus x of 2. All these values, these values will be 0. So, this will be equal to, sorry, 1. So, it is e raised to 0, it will be 1. So, it will be 1. It is equal to, so 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 is nothing but 0.25 or you can simply add this. So, it is 3 by 4. So, it will become 0 0.75. So, x of 0 we have calculated and it is equal to 0 0.75. Let us mark this. So, this is x of 0. Let us find x of 1 same way for k is equal to 1. So, what is the value of x of 1? So, equation will become x of 1 is equal to x of 0 e raise to minus j 2 pi k. Value of k is 1 here and value of n is this one. This value is value of n in this case first case it is 0 this is 2 pi by 3 plus x of 1 the same process repeat here also it is minus j 2 pi by 3 it is k is 1 and it is n also 1 plus x of 2 e raised to minus j 2 pi by 3 into k is 1 into value of n will be so, further simplifying this, we will get x of 0. So, here it is the 0. So, it will be e raise to 0, it is 1. So, we can write in the steps also e raise to 0 plus x of 1, x of 1, e raise to minus j 2 pi by 3 plus x of 2, e raise to minus j. So, 2 pi into 2 is 4 pi by 3. So, simplifying further, we will get it is 1 by 4 or simply we can write 0 0.25, 1 by 4 is 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 into e raise to minus j 2 pi by 3 this term this is complex term x of 4 x of 2 is 1 by 4 and it is 0 0.25 1 by 4 is 0 0.25 so e raise to minus j 4 pi by 3 now we have to simplify this Com these complex terms should be simplified by using Euler's identity we can simplify this as So, e raise to j, e raise to minus j 2 pi by 3 can be written as cos of 2 pi by 3 minus j sin of 2 pi by 3. So, take this 2 pi 2 into 180. So, I am writing for this first equation 
सो टू इंटू वन एटी डिवाइड बाय थ्री माइनस जे साइन ऑफ टू इंटू वन एटी डिवाइड बाय थ्री सो दिस विल बी इक्वल टू पॉइंट फाइव माइनस जे जे पॉइंट एट सिक्स सो इट इज पॉइंट एट सिक्स ओके और द सेकेंड टर्म ऑल्सो विल गेट द सेम टर्म सो ई रेस टू माइनस जे फोर पाई बाय थ्री वी हैव इफ यू राइट दिस एज कॉस फोर पाई बाय थ्री माइनस जे साइन फोर बाय थ्री एंड इफ यू सॉल्व दिस यूजिंग कैलकुलेटर यू विल गेट सेम टर्म अगेन पॉइंट माइनस पॉइंट फाइव माइनस जे साइन सॉरी माइनस जे साइन ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट एट सिक्स okay so take this as equation 1 put this values in this equation 1 so it is we are solving for x of 1 so x of 1 will become so it is 0.25 plus 0.25 into this value so it is minus 0.5 minus j minus j 0.86 plus 0.25 minus 0.5 minus j 0.86. If you simplify this, you will get 0.25. Collect the similar terms. So 0.25. First, you multiply this. So we'll get 0.25 plus Sorry, it will be minus point one two five minus j point two zero six. We'll get the same term again here because these are the similar terms. So it is point one two five minus j point two zero six. So what we'll get finally, you will get minus j. Zero point four one two. So, what is the value of what is the value of x of one? So, x of one we have calculated as minus j point four one two. Okay. Now we we got two values x of zero and x of one. So, let us find x of two. So it is for k equal to two. What is the value of x of two? Writing same equation just by changing the value of k. Take k equal to two in the previous equation. We will obtain easily the value of x of two. So it is x of zero. E raised to minus j. 2 pi by 3 into value of k is 2 into 0 plus x of 1 e raised to minus j 2 pi by 3 into value of k is 2 and value of 1 is 1 plus x of 2 e raised to minus j 2 pi by 3 into 2 into value of n is 2 so for the simplifying this x of 0 e raised to 0 plus x of 1 e raised to minus j so it is 2 pi into 2 is 4 pi by 3 plus x of 2 e raised to minus j it will be 8 8 pi by 3 so again solving by using the same pro procedure Will obtain x of two is equal to so it is point two five plus point two five minus point five minus j point eight six plus point two five minus point five Minus J, 
0.86 because it is the periodic function and you will get the same values if you find out co uh, cos 8 pi by 3 minus j sin 8 pi by 3. So, if you solve this you will get value of x of 2 as minus j 0.412 ok. Now, what is the set of x of k? We have x of k now x of k is equal to first value is 0 0.75 second value is minus j so it is 0 0.412 and third value also similar so it is 0 0.412 so this is the dft of a given x of n okay now what we have to do further so it is x of k is a complex term we can find magnitude and phase of x of k. So, here up to this step we have the discrete Fourier transform of given x of n. If you want to do further we also can find out the magnitude. So, we have magnitude of x of k is square root of so it is real part of k square plus imaginary part of k square. So, by using this relation we can find out the magnitude of this. Now, you have to find the magnitude of each term so that we can plot the magnitude spectrum for the discrete Fourier transform and that spectrum will be discrete in true sense because here omega is divided by 2 by n terms. So, these are the n terms and in this case 2 pi is divided by 3. So, therefore, it is called as a discrete Fourier transform. So, let us solve or uh, let us find out the magnitude for at least 2 terms here. So, x of magnitude of x of 0 will be. So, we do not have any imaginary part along with this that is the real part. So, it is 0 0.75 square plus 0 square. So, it will be 0.75. So, why we are getting here? Because we do not have any frequency term here. So, it is k is 0 and n is 0. So, we are getting e raise to 0 is equal to 1. Therefore, there is no frequency term involved. This, this is the DC component of the discrete Fourier transform. So, magnitude of x of 1 will be square root of what is the real term along with this? So, it is 0. So, it is 0 square plus coefficient of j is imaginary term. So, it is 0 0.412 square. So, we will get the 0 0.12 is the magnitude of x of k. So, similarly we can find phase between these discrete Fourier transform values of the given sequence.